Oh, little kitty, you are having hiccups. Try some cold water first. Thank you, doctor. Oh, kitty, no worries at all. Hey, friends, I'm sure just like kitty, at some point, all of us must be interrupted by this squeaky noise coming out of our mouth called hiccups, which could be a bit irritating and embarrassing at times. I remember long ago when I was baby Binox, I participated in a poetry competition at my school. There were hundreds of eyes staring at me as I stood on stage nervously, shivering with fear. And as soon as I opened my mouth, the entire hall burst into laughter as I left the room feeling embarrassed. But I didn't give up. On that day, I decided to learn about hiccups and what causes it. And I'm going to share that with you all today. So, let's zoom in. So, what causes hiccups? Well, the most common cause of hiccups are eating and drinking too fast. But there are other factors such as swallowing air or intense emotions such as crying, <laughs> laughing, stress and excitement can be the reason behind those jerky sound effects. But what happens during hiccups? Well, the main culprit behind you getting hiccups is the diaphragm, a dome-shaped muscle at the bottom of your chest that we use to inhale and exhale air. But sometimes the diaphragm gets annoyed and spasms that cause us to take a quick breath of air. The sudden rush of air causes the glottis, a flap inside your vocal cords, to shut abruptly, stopping the air from entering the windpipe and reaching the lungs, thus creating that annoying noise. <coughs> Most of the times, the hiccups go on its own, but sometimes it gets tough to get rid of it and we try various remedies like drinking a glass of cold water or gargling with it, holding our breath, pulling our tongue, breathing into a paper bag or getting suddenly scared. <laughs> oh, sorry. But despite all the efforts for curing hiccups, there is no guarantee that any one of these temporary solutions works better than the other or will surely help to stop your hiccups. Trivia time! Did you know that the longest case of hiccups lasted for 68 years? A guy named Charles Osborne began to hiccup in 1922 after a 350-pound hog fell on him and damaged a small part of his brain that inhibits the hiccup response. He was cured after 68 long years, thus inducting his name in the Guinness World Record Book for the longevity of hiccups. Another dramatic case of the hiccups occurred in 2007 when Jennifer Mee of Florida hiccuped over 50 times per minute for around 35 days straight before the hiccups went away. It's question time! Today's question is, what do you call the dome-shaped muscle at the bottom of your chest that we use to inhale and exhale air? Do write in your answer in the comments section below and hit the like button and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo family. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode and until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Uh, no.
Never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.